The information provided in this podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute legal advice. Listening to this podcast does not create an attorney-client relationship with FOIL Legal. For advice tailored to your situation, please consult a qualified legal professional. Welcome to WA Injury Claims Explained, your trusted source for understanding personal injury claims in Western Australia. Each week, we simplify complex legal issues, from motor vehicle accidents to workplace injuries, so you can confidently navigate your rights and claim the compensation you deserve. All right, so you guys have really bombarded us with questions about car accidents in WA. Seems like you're gearing up for something. Maybe. Either way, we're diving deep into the world of Western Australia's car accident law today. Muckle up. We're looking at this website from FOIL Legal, a personal injury law firm right in Perth, which just adds to that, you know, local feel. It's practical advice straight from the source. Exactly. And think about it. Like, we've all been there, right? A little fender bender in the Woolies car park. Happens to the best of us. And suddenly you're like, wait what are my rights here? Which is exactly what this website helps with. It's not just about, you know, how do I sue someone? It's about understanding how the system works, what your rights are, what your responsibilities are. That whole knowledge is power thing, right? Yeah, exactly. And they really emphasize that. Like one of the first things they talk about is reporting the accident to the police. Which you'd think like, okay, yeah, of course, if it's a big accident. But they emphasize even those little ones, right? Right. Because in WA, you're actually required to report any accident to the police where there's damage to property or any personal injury. So, yeah, even that little bumper scuff in the Woolies car park. It's good to know, right? Don't want to be accidentally committing a hit and run. Exactly. It's about understanding those nuances in the law. And speaking of which, another thing they emphasize is contacting the ICWA. ICWA. Now... For those of us who aren't legal eagles, what is that? That's the Insurance Commission of Western Australia. They're like the gatekeepers of car accident claims. You have to go through them. So they handle like all the claims, everything. Pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, you'll want those details handy. Makes you realize how much you don't know, right? <laughs> Just going about your day and bam, legal stuff. Right. And it's easy to overlook things, especially when you're stressed. Like they make a good point about even minor accidents. You might not think much of it at the time, but... Those can have lasting impacts. Yeah, you think, oh, it's just a little bump, no big deal. But then, like, whiplash can creep up on you. Exactly. Or you could have emotional distress, trauma, things like that. And that's important, right, because you can actually claim for that. Absolutely. It's all part of personal injury. Yeah. And the source does a really good job of breaking down those differences, like, Claiming for just the damage to your car versus claiming for personal injury. Because that's two different ball games, right? Totally. Like, if it's just property damage, you're looking at going through the magistrate's court. There's even a limit on how much you can claim, $75,000. Okay, so for most fender benders, that's probably enough. Right. But then, personal injury claims, those go through the district court. And there's no upper limit on what you can claim. Whoa. Okay, so that's when things get serious. Yeah, and that could be intimidating, but the source does point out that most cases actually settle before they even go to court. So it's not always lawyers battling it out in courtrooms like you see on TV? Not at all. And that's good to remember. It's not always as dramatic as it seems. But it does make you wonder, like, at what point do you actually need a lawyer? When does it make sense to bring them in? That's the million-dollar question. Because those legal fees can add up quickly. And it seems like FOIL Legal gets that. They actually address that right on their site, talking about no win, no fee. Which is huge, right. right. Because it means you don't have to worry about paying those fees up front. It makes legal help way more accessible. But here's where I got a little confused. They also say that sometimes, even if you think you have a good case, it might not be worth going to court. Yeah, and that's where it's about strategy, you know? Mm. Weighing up the costs and benefits. Sometimes the amount you might get from a settlement versus going through a whole trial, it's just not worth the stress. So sometimes taking the sure thing is the better option. Exactly. And it's not always about the money either. It can be about the emotional toll, the time commitment, mm -hmm. all of that. Makes sense. And that's where having a lawyer who can give you that advice, that strategy is so important. They actually give some really interesting examples on the website talking about catastrophic injuries versus more, I guess, everyday ones like whiplash. Right. Because those are two very different scenarios. Like with whiplash, you might get a decent settlement offer from ICWA, 
and you're good to go. Mm. But when you're talking about catastrophic injuries, things that have long-term effects. Things that change your whole life. Exactly. That's where you need someone who really understands how to fight for your rights, get you the compensation you deserve. Because it's not just about covering immediate medical bills, right? It's about the future, too. Absolutely. Lost wages, ongoing care, even things like adapting your home if you need to. Mm. A good lawyer factors all of that in. It's like having someone in your corner who knows the system inside and out. Exactly. And that's especially important when, you know, it's not always clear who's at fault. They talk about that, too, how messy it can get if there's a dispute. Yeah, like who caused the accident? That can be tricky. And that's where you need someone who can investigate, gather evidence, build a strong case. So it's not as simple as just saying, well, I wasn't the one who rear-ended the other car. Nope, not at all. It can get very complex very quickly. And speaking of things that can be tricky, we've got to talk about the statute of limitations. That sounds serious. It is. It's basically the deadline for making a claim. In WA, it's three years from the date of the accident. Three years? Okay. So you've got a bit of time, but still, you don't want to miss that. Exactly. And it might seem like a long way off, but time flies, especially when you're dealing with recovering from an accident and all that comes with it. So best to be aware of it from the get-go. Now, one thing I really appreciated about this website is how much attention they give to the psychological effects of accidents. Right. Because it's not just about the physical injuries, is it? Like a car accident, even if you walk away unscathed, that's a traumatic experience. Absolutely. And it can have long-term consequences, PTSD, anxiety, all sorts of things. And they make it clear that you can actually claim for those, right? Yeah. It's called non-pecuniary loss. And it covers things like pain and suffering, loss of enjoyment of life, basically the impact the accident has had on your mental well-being. That makes sense. But how do you even put a price tag on that? Well, that's where it gets tricky. And that's where having a lawyer who really gets it, who understands those invisible injuries, is so important. In WA, there's actually a financial threshold, currently $23,000, to claim for that type of loss. So you have to have experienced a certain level of suffering, essentially. Basically, yes. But it's about building a strong case, having the right evidence, and a good lawyer can help with it. So having that expert guidance, it's not just about the legal stuff. It's about making sure you're supported emotionally, too. Absolutely. Because going through something like this, it takes a toll. And this website does a great job of acknowledging that, I think. They even have a whole section on when you should lawyer up. Like, when does it become essential? Okay, so what are some of those red flags, those signs that you need to pick up the phone and call a lawyer? Well, if you've got serious injuries, obviously. Like, this case is where it's not just a scraped knee. We're talking long-term stuff. Exactly. Or, you know, if it's not clear who's at fault, you're going to want someone on your side for that battle. Because insurance companies... They're not messing around. They're looking out for their bottom line. Yeah. You need someone looking out for you. That's a thing, right? It can feel so overwhelming, all this legal jargon. Right. But that's where a good lawyer can make all the difference. They can take some of that weight off your shoulders, help you understand what's going on, fight for what you deserve. And this is what I really like about this FOIL legal website. They get that human side of it. It's not just about the law. It's about the people. Exactly. And that comes through even in how they talk about like most cases settling out of court, it's not always about that big dramatic trial. Sometimes it's better to find a compromise, move on with your life. Right. And a good lawyer can help you do that, navigate those negotiations, make sure you're getting a fair deal. It's like having a guide, a translator, and a bodyguard all rolled into one. There you go. That's a good way to put it. Now, we've been talking a lot about WA specifically, but I'm sure some people listening are thinking, what about me? I live in Victoria. Oh, yes. Important point. Laws are different everywhere. So while this deep dive has been great for WA, if you're in another state, you need to look at your own backyard. Do your research. Exactly. Don't assume what applies here applies everywhere. Good advice for life in general, I'd say. Absolutely. Well, I feel like we've covered a lot of ground today. From those first panicked moments after an accident to the nitty gritty of legal claims. And everything in between. And honestly, if there's one takeaway, it's that knowledge is power. 100%. The more you know about your rights, the better off you are. Exactly. So if you're in WA, check out this FOIL legal website. They've got a ton of great info. And no matter where you are, don't be afraid to ask questions. Get advice if you need it. Exactly. Knowledge is power. And on that note, we're putting the brakes on this deep dive for today. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious, and we'll catch you on the flip side.
Thank you for listening to WA Injury Claims Explained by Foyle Legal. We hope this episode helped clarify your rights and next steps in your injury claim. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review and visit foillegal.com for more useful information. See you next time.